Viruses and malware. It's something that you are very familiar with. You hear about it in the news, you see it all the time, and we've even talked about it here on Waste Time. Our previous video on the subject was about exactly how you might get infected with one of these things. But an interesting question to ask is how do you stop them? What's the difference between a virus and malware? Does stopping them involve different things? Hi folks, it's Falcon, and today on Waste Time, we ask the question, how does antivirus and anti-malware software work? So why would you need to know the difference between a virus and malware? Well, if you're intending to stop them, that's a very good reason to. Malware is a program that installs itself on your computer and causes adverse effects, either hijacking something, making it go slower, popping up ads on a constant basis, locking up files, etc, etc. A virus can do all of these things, but it also replicates itself. That's the difference, at least the main one. There are more subtle differences that are sometimes debated upon that matter a little bit less for this video. Antivirus software essentially works by analyzing all of your files, be it a program file or any kind of file that might be able to execute code, against a list of signature files or virus definitions. These lists exist thanks to various sources. Some of them are community sourced and others are created by the companies that maintain the antivirus software and essentially compares areas of a file that might contain code that matches with that definition file, the signature. Now typically, an entire virus is not contained in a signature or definition file, but it contains enough and oftentimes the most core elements of the code in order to make an identification. Modern programs continue to benefit more from artificial intelligence and those types of ideas as people are running lists, files, and various sources of information through machine learning. This creates varying different types of ways to detect, including behavioral-based detection, when certain effects are made that may not necessarily require an exact duplicate in code in order to detect. An antivirus then will sandbox off the offending file, meaning it will stop it from running, and essentially cut off any connections it could make to any other files on your computer, with the intent of ceasing any further damage. It then takes this file, which is no longer doing anything or connected to anything, neither quarantines it, or totally deletes it. A lot of antivirus software now runs in the background to attempt to detect any different variances in damaging behavior or downloaded files that may or may not be viruses in order to flag and attempt to do something about. The preventative approach is always a better approach because removing something that replicates itself is not always a, an easy thing to do. Hell, removing something that doesn't replicate itself is not always an easy thing to do. With that, let's talk about anti-malware programs. Now, what's the difference between an antivirus and an anti-malware program? First off, you have to consider the difference that we established prior to explaining how antivirus software works. Now, regarding anti-malware programs, they still do the same thing, run checks against definitions, and then also the more behavioral-based ideas that they've incorporated over the years, and also have things that are running in the background, attempting to stop threats before they happen. But malware changes much faster. There are new malware all the time. They're being developed on a quicker basis and are considered a little bit less of a threat by the average person because, well, they don't know the word malware as much as they do the word virus. Frankly, public consciousness doesn't match malware as it does with viruses. This gives malware a bit of an advantage, and also so does that fragmentation. Like I said, there is a lot more malware and it's developing much quicker. People are worried about a few less functions because it doesn't have to perpetuate itself. It just has to do what it's going to do and get out. So in that respect, anti-malware tends to update a lot more. It will update its definitions on a near regular basis, sometimes daily, sometimes more than daily. I've had one of them recommend that they update every few hours. Like, I'm not doing anything that requires this much security malware program. Do I look like Tom Cruise in one of the Mission Impossible movies or no? Yeah, like I don't think I do. I really, I'm a bird. I am named Falcon and I am a Falcon. So there, I am very much a vanilla internet user. I am aware of how to be more than a vanilla internet user. However, it's way more work and I've frankly got other stuff to do. So which one is better to have on your computer? Ha, there isn't one. You should have an antivirus and an anti-malware. There's plenty of free stuff out there that works very well 
and there's no reason not to have it. Have you ever gotten a malware infection? Leave us a comment, let us know. If you enjoyed this video, please click like, and if you want to see more, click subscribe. We upload brand new videos all the time. The best way to see them first is a subscription. As always, we thank you very much for watching this video. I'm Falcon, you can follow me on Twitter at FalconTheHero, and we'll see you next time, right here on Waste Time.